pit pit stop it's a pit stop pit 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 stop it's it's a pit stop pit 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 stop it's a pit stop pit stop pit stop pit stop Whoo! let me just say we are back we are back this is your purple pants podcast pit stop rewatch of season five of the amazing race and bay bay did my co-host the winner of season 29, Miss Brooke Cam High. Did she not steer us wrong? Because we are recapping episode eight and baby, can somebody please play Akon locked up? Cause they won't let me out. But I am so excited to have my survivor brother come join us. We, I'm learning that he is an amazing race super fan as well. You may remember him from Survivor season 42, or you may remember him as your friendly veterinarian online. It's Omar Zaire. Welcome back to the podcast. Hello. I think this might be my um, purple podcast p- podcast premiere. So this is excellent for the amazing race of all for things. For the amazing, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> all things. I have so much joy. I don't love the fact that I'm outnumbered by survivors right now, but I do yeah. have so much joy in that survivors, this one in particular, is all, you're doing a rewatch of the amazing race. I would, I would be a part of that. And I'm finding out that survivors are a fan and respecting and realizing yeah. how great a show the amazing race actually is so welcome and thank you and this is gonna yes. be great yeah we love it before the season go ahead sorry the franchise didn't it like it almost this got is, canceled it, because it, this this was legendary and every single episode of this season is good i find but this one is maybe the best of the season it is so crazy. Something. Before we jump into the episode, knowing that you are such a, an astute fan of Amazing Race, I'd love to just ask you a question to kind of set the oh, temperature of God. like how we will move forward, if that's okay with you. <laughs> yes, yes, let's do it. Okay. Are we so, ever going to let sleeping dogs we, lie? We're I, not. I'm going to use this for the veterinary. Let sleep. Okay, fine. You know what? I, yes, I, let's just, let's just what are you ahead. scared of? Are you scared, scared of something? Okay, scared. okay, okay. so let's ask. So, I Omer, for this. okay, no, no, this is great. Uh, what, how would you define a fill elimination? How would I define a fill elimination? Yes, yes, um, Phil Kogan announcing at the pit stop that you're the last team to arrive and you have been eliminated. From the race. Okay. See, and no, it just says it at the pit stop. At the pit yes. stop. So a fill elimination. Okay. Elimination. So you're telling me that every elimination then is a full elimination. Um, I think that it, it has to be at the map to be an official full elimination. But as you know on Survivor, sometimes people like Wanda and Jonathan get eliminated, not at tribal council. And there's there, there's there's some luster and loss to that. Remember that when that Eric and oh, Lisa got eliminated no. off at the starting mat? Like, oh, that was we're dumb. still on Amazing Race. Yeah, I thought we were going yeah. to Survivor. Yes, no, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. So okay. we have a my definition of a full elimination is when Phil comes out to the course and everyone else has already oh, checked no, in. No. And no, I mean yes, but okay, <laughs> but because every elimination is just an elimination, but a fill elimination is when he comes right. out to you, whether you're rolling out hay bales and you know, mm-hmm. you're know you the last people there in the dark and he has to let you go because everyone else has checked in, or you're still making a ladle and the second to last team of <laughs> Brooke and Scott have already checked in. Thank God that you guys missed the ferry because otherwise we would have been out. Or you're sitting in Egypt and have decided you can't go on any further and you're Marshall and Lance and yeah. say, you know, everyone else has checked in. I think we give up. And then Phil comes out to the course to let you go. But okay. Bryce disagrees a little bit, so, but so, we've, okay. We've spent okay, so, so then, many right, so, hours. It's two to one. Although well, neither right. of us are. No, right. yours is not, yours is not <laughs> what either of us say. <laughs> so settle this, settle this, uh, Omer. Um, <sighs> If you quit, can you be eliminated? Um, I don't think you can be eliminated if you're quit. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That's all you I'm know, Oh, great. Jeff Somebody who never played the Amazing anymore. Race thinks the wrong thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You well, can somebody rewind seven seconds to what Brooke was then just saying about survivors mm. loving amazing race, all of this, and now all of a sudden you just cre- you just you can love us. something you don't understand, and I think that's what's mm. happening here. And so, I'm or you could be on an expert on something you've never done. You know what? Yeah, but not uh, this. But I'm, <laughs> 
what I'm realizing, Omer, is Anthony and Bailey would have a correct answer. So I'm going to have to reach out to Anthony and Bailey from the last season of Amazing Race and see what they say because their opinion is the only opinion that matters. I'm just going to gonna reach out to Phil. How about that? What if yeah. I get oh, the yeah, answer yeah, yeah. from the you horse's got the inside mouth? Line. If Do I it. can get, if Phil agrees with me, will you then say that I am right? And then Phil what would a regular with you? elimination be called? Just an elimination. Elimination. An elimination at the net. You've okay. Just eliminated. I agree to these terms. Yes. Okay. Get 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 Phil on the line. Okay. I'm gonna but see what I can do. Is. Yeah. We at the get net, Phil on here to decide the news. So I don't. Th I think he'll agree with us. He will certainly not. But okay, <laughs> let's talk about. Epi First of all, Omer, I I really enjoy you and respect you, but I gotta tell you, every elimination is not a full elimination. That's not how I, that works. I, I, I agree with you on that, and That's I ain't just, play Amazing Race. Sorry, but a full <laughs> elimination is Phil comes to you on the course. The question at hand is, if you've already quit, is it a full elimination, or do you have to actively still be doing the task for it to be in a, a full elimination? I think that's where Bryce and I differ a little bit, but I love okay. and respect Bryce, and even when he's wrong, he is amazing. So. <laughs> I'm going to see what I can do from the producers of the show themselves. I will find you an official answer that agrees with me. Okay. So, yeah. hmm. Shall Ooh. we do it? Ooh. I this actually, this should this not this even be the a long most... discussion, but I do have one more thought. So now that you say that, I think there's a difference between quitting in general and quitting when you're already last on an elimination leg. Okay. Because then it's like you are technically eliminated. They just want to finish the, the thing. Yeah. yeah, but if you quit in general, like if you sit there and be like, I quit, you're just going to be sitting there until you're last anyway. They're not going to say, okay, go home in the middle of a leg. They're just going to, because they're just Yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. No, I'm agreeing last. with you in the sense that that oh, could just keep technically talking. be a No, elimination. she's trying to say that it's like, no, uh, Omer, thank, okay, guys, this has been <laughs> episode eight. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Omer. We appreciate it. Okay, because listen, I'm tired of Brooke getting like you see how she just did that. Like, Lawyered. okay, Omer, don't feel badly. He keeps hanging up on everybody who ever agreed with me on everything. It's it's hilarious. This should not even be the, the biggest point of contention of this. This episode has so much oh, yeah, to so it. much okay. debate, discourse. So, oh my god. Can we do it? Or you want to nah. talk more about the elimination, no. right? No. I mean, I can get the police chief if you would like me to. This episode is fantastic. Okay, so we got five teams left. We have cab problems. We have flat tires, no spares, oil change issue. Like, everybody being passed by everybody else. Like, this is like, but none of this is anything compared to a contestant being hauled to the local police station and literally almost being thrown in jail. This episode is, I hate the word iconic. Throw I hate away it. the key, I hate it, but honestly. It is. Yeah, right? If you, if anyone in the world ever, like, doesn't believe that, like, white privilege does not exist, I would watch ask this. them to watch mm. this episode because the privilege exuded in this episode was disgusting. Um, yeah. And I just also want to say real quick, because last season of Amazing Race, I had an issue with, production this season of amazing race i have issues with production now maybe i don't know if o omer will agree with me here but the one thing that i careful I if you say, don't you might be on that <laughs> because you know i was a fan of team angie and danny um and i no, felt like really? early you on were? You were? early on in the season they picked the wrong boat and the boat had a motor like issue and they were unable like the rules was like you can't switch once you pick a boat and i was very adamant that like i understand you can't switch a boat but i really feel like the show when you have these boats lined up you need to make sure it's operating properly and it can work and so take me back 20 years to season five i do feel some type of way that like y'all should have operating and running taxis ready for us mm. or you should make sure when you get in a taxi that you have a spare tire in the trunk and that it's not riding on a donut already i mean well, some of okay. this does fall on the contestant like yeah I'm there were so many that. options there there they were taken anyone and on oh my god i can't wait to talk okay so let's jump into it because it's just 
the way things happen, the first 15 minutes of this episode could have been the entire episode. It was. Yeah. And honestly, the first 15 minutes of this episode were more exciting than some of the full episodes of recent seasons. But be that as it may, this <laughs> is fantastic. So, OK, so teams are in uh, North Tanzania. You have Chip and Kim first at 2.45 in the morning, 2.42 in the morning, Colin and Chrissy at 3 a.m., Linda and Karen at like 3.05, Brandon and Nicole at 3.10, Cammie and Curly at 3.12. There are 30 minutes between all the teams and 12 minutes between teams two and two through five. So this is like everybody's very, very close. So teams have to take a taxi over 100 miles because nothing is ever around the corner ever anywhere in this season to Kilimanjaro Airport and sign up for one of three charter flights an hour apart to Nairobi, then fly 2,200 miles to Dubai, first time they're in Dubai, uh, first time they're in the UAE, yeah, and, and find a clue across the street from this hotel, right? Okay, yeah. so I I start like writing notes, but then the notes that I have have notes upon notes in like, <laughs> I, this is, I go, th this is a lot. Okay, so Chip and Kim, I, I love them. They ask um, what the taxis charge. They are kind and they are joyful and Chip is all, whatever you give out, we'll come back to you. Now, they ask what the taxis charge and that's important because there's a whole big issue with money and giving away too much money and also caring a much caring too much about holding on to your money and the problems it's causing all of the teams. Yes, Bryce. I was just saying they're giving $200. I want to say the right. first taxi that Chip and Kim went to, they said like 150 150. or right. 150. Then said 100. Right. And they said 100. Yeah. Now, again, learning that this is a two hour track, right? Like if I were to go to the airport right now from my house on an Uber, it's $56. So it's better than mine. It's it's a hundred dollars for me. Like I don't understand what world are you driving two hours and not paying a hundred dollars minimum. Oh, minimum. Well, and see, well, also and again, white mm, privilege because yeah. they're all this it, is Tanzania. It should be eighteen cents and a chicken. Right. That's it's, but that's it's not privileged. Accurate. And for me, I don't care. This is how I just felt as a black man watching it. I felt like the way that some of these teams were looking at these black men taxi drivers, like I felt like they were saying, "You don't look like you deserve a hundred dollars." Yes. Like yeah. I felt that like, way as a white woman watching yeah. it. I say like, it, it was not okay. It's it's yeah. saying you know you're that money is too that's too much money you don't need that much money you don't deserve that much money you it, it didn't the whole and thing and then playing the was, victim of like oh they're they're just taking our money because we're american mm, the whole yeah. thing is infuriating okay so then and, you have and, Colin, oh sorry no no, no go, ahead, go ahead sorry because that like you're no. right right that whole thing of they're taking our money because we're american omar right? how much have and you taken just, from them as an instrument? Uh, oh, oh but baby baby have you heard of the transatlantic slave trail okay all right sorry Woo! don't Woo! be sorry you're going to get only more mad because it only gets worse. Colin and Christy uh, won't pay $100. Colin is all, we only have $60. But then they say okay to $100. So shut up, you had $100. Um, they want to start trusting each other more. Colin and Christy, now look, in all fairness, having run the race, you don't necessarily look at the tires on all of your taxis. Mm -hmm. You're not necessarily always asking, do you have a spare tire? Although if I go back, I'll make sure to always ask if they have a spare tire and if they're driving on it already. But so I don't know that I would have had the same forethought to ask, but it does kind of fall on you to like pay attention. It does. And if you would have went with the first taxi driver that you went that said $100, maybe you wouldn't have had the donut, my brother. Yeah. Somebody else would have had that one. Uh, Linda and Karen are getting excited that anyone can win, even two older moms. Brandon and Nicole um, don't want to pay, won't pay $100, but no one, will do, no one will do it for less. And their ugly starts to show, especially Nicole. She is... Mm. Um, yeah. And then you have Cammie and Carly. They start, they say they need to slow down and be less spastic. Like maybe less spastic. You don't need to slow down because you're living in the back. <laughs> They're just like my favorite Amazing Race archetype is the team that um, I think they refer to it online as bottom G dot Odyssey, where they just barely squeak by every episode. They hit the nana limbs and then they still manage to get so far for no particular talent. And that is Cami and Carly this season. That's a very good explanation of Cami and Carly and some other teams I can think of. And I started not 
I started out not liking the twins. Yeah, and you so did not. when I, I when I saw how this taxi situation was going, I was like, this will be my defining point if I like the twins or if I don't like the twins. Mm. And when they were fine with paying a hundred dollars, I said, you know what, twins? Y'all all right with me. They had yeah. and then for I mean, on top of that, the way that they handle let's talk about it. So Colin not gets AAA. In, no, <laughs> no. Colin gets in the cab and says, I am not they're in the cab, they're moving, they're finally in this cab. Then as they're moving, he says, I'm not paying you if this other cab passes us. Then they get passed. And then Colin and Chrissy are just in the back screaming, Pat, like fast, fast, fast. Like, don't scream at your taxi driver. Mm -hmm. Be nice. If your taxi driver likes you and is excited to be part of your team and feels like they're part of it, they're going to work harder than if you treat them like they are your servants. Like that mm -hmm. is not okay. Anyway, because karma, then you have Brandon and Nicole, that uh, Jesus and Satan, they pass Colin and Christy, and Colin is screaming. I'm now going to go to my inside notes because I have so many notes. on. Okay, so anyway, then Brandon and Nicole pass Linda and Karen. Colin's tire blows out. This is where it gets amazing. He's like, where is your spare? Spare? What spare? It's on the front passenger <laughs> side. You didn't go looking for it. I don't know, whatever. That poor sweet man. That you know what is out. that guy's yeah, amazing. No. We will talk about that guy later because that taxi driver loves. Okay. I mean, if he made the, the episode the, for me. The kid, the, we're naming the episode "Standing on Business" because <laughs> that taxi driver stood on business. Okay, they and had a contract. To, okay, we. Oh. oh, it gets so. Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay, so wait. So, okay, so. So Colin's, Colin and Christy's cab is out, right? And then Cammie and Carly drive up and they stop for Colin and Christy. First of all, I'm not stopping for Colin and Christy because you're in the back. That being said, Cammie and Carly stop because they're being nice. And Colin says, we need your spare tire. And they give it to them? Uh, mm. Mm, mm. How about we need our spare tire? Because God forbid if it happens to us in the next 97 miles, we're gonna need that tire. Also, Colin and Christy are not stopping for you. Like there's or no even way. Like, or Thank even you. like, could Thank we you. have right. your spare tire? Like maybe, maybe, maybe a question would be nice. And may, I, may we please or thank you for your spare tire? Not we, we need this. Are you asking the contestants, or are you actually asking the taxi driver? Because right. that was another thing that I was just like, oh, okay. I didn't even you're think just, about that skipping mm -hmm. the taxi driver completely uh and so that for me was crazy i was just like oh okay i kind of would have loved mm -hmm. if cammy and carly's taxi driver was like that's my tire you're not taking that like but i also felt like because i had to rewatch this like i rewatched this part like five times because i was like first of all omer's coming on i need to know um <laughs> i I, re I really do feel like this has nothing to do with the contestants i really feel like the taxi driver stopped for the taxi driver. Yeah, I agree, right? I agree. Like, I feel like it was the camaraderie between them. That yeah. was my take as well. And then they're pretending that they have agency in this decision. Honestly, right. then if I'm Cammie and Carly, I'm like, do not give that spare tire. Yeah. Like, we may well, need just that. love. I mean, I, I would have been like, let's just, least, They did the best thing that they could do. Because as soon as they got the tire, they was like, all right, let's go. We're out. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I mean, but he doesn't even say thank you. It's so rude. Then... Right. Then um, Linda and Karen's cab decides to crap out. It has some oil issue. Cammie and Carly no. don't stop for them. Okay. Because like they said, we're not AAA. We can't help everybody. Yeah. We did once. And you know what? The bowling were they, so sweet I about it, think, though. They were, yeah. When do you think the next cab is coming? 10 minutes? Oh, thank you so much. You know, like, come on. Because they have That's respect. Like, yes. Because yes. they are adults and they have uh, respect. They, they have respect when they go into the old airport not the new one but the old airport they, Look, they had one place. bad moment linda and, had one, and bad one coming up <laughs> yeah Episode okay nine. that's fair that's oh. fair that's fair oh. i know Bryce um, hasn't seen it yet, so i haven't seen it so remind me real quick because before we even get to the big big situation when brandon and well when brandon and nikki arrived to the airport uh, <laughs> i love it keeps saying nikki like that's not her name i don't like the way brandon said nikki uh yeah. well first of all actually you know what? you know i Couple never like that either yeah it's like nikki is so perfect nikki oh <laughs> You better hope I never my, get Brandon or Nikki on this podcast. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't like, I'm just giving you know my, them? I know a lot of people. I'm, oh, so 
I mean, I'm just saying, I don't have a Brandon or a Nikki for anybody to go bricey and so I don't love it. Okay, so <laughs> let's just get my cuss outs in order. Yeah. Okay. Chip and Kim. Chip. Hey, chippity chip, chip, chip. Your name is Chip, not Tip. I don't need you to be tippity tip, <laughs> tip, tip, tipping. Okay. Now listen, I am listen, Chip. I had this issue with you last week, okay? Last week, you wanted to sit on, on the family porch and have a picnic. I get it. You're in the, the motherland. You want to take it all in. But the time is ticking. And not only is the time ticking, your wallet is ticking. And so I, I am not mad at paying $100. I'm also not mad at the team's trying to haggle a little bit, right? Like, you know, it's all like how you haggle. Hey, oh no, I can't do that. Then once you find a common denominator, like it's like, okay, this is it. Chip, they didn't even haggle. They said a hundred. They said, okay, fine. I get it. They didn't say $120, Chip. Right. Why are you giving 20 <laughs> extra dollars? <laughs> like, and normally, yes, but you are in a race with limited funds. Yes, and it will happen. You will see in this very episode how it comes back to bite them a little bit. So, but, but wait, sorry to cut you no, off. No, I'm not the one. I'll let you do you. I'm I got to go off. Now, that's my first cuss out. Second cuss out is I can't remember what the debacle was with Brandon and Nikki when they arrived to the airport. Did oh, they, I know what it was. Were they she charged wanted to give? She wanted to give a hundred U.S. dollars, but oh. in U.S. and Kenyan currency. And, and I'm sorry, what, just what country US are currency. we in? Tanzania. What country are we in? <laughs> well, okay, so not to defend her, because she did say some outrageous things like we are being blanked for money, but... Yeah, you don't use they, the ring for it. That's yeah, not okay. That was crazy. But, Especially, um, again, giving the you, history of... <laughs> right. If the value of the Kenyan money is 100 US dollars, is it okay? I will no. say... Hold on. Okay. I, I don't... I. I I will say, if the cab driver is happy to take it, then I don't have a problem. You can yeah. say, are you willing to take this and this? And if they say yes, no problem. On my season, there was a team that had leftover Brazilian money, and then we ended up in Tanzania. And we <laughs> and they wanted to pay Brazilian money, and they said this is actually worth more. And the guy ultimately, I believe, ended up taking it, um, but he agreed to take it, and that's fine. They didn't say, we're not giving you anything else. Mm -hmm. So I understand the ask, well, but if also, the answer I, is no, then yeah. be respectful, pay what you're supposed to pay. And next time you get to a major airport, which you will at some point in the near future, change your money. Like, yeah, I agree. And I, I think it's more ignorance and that I don't really know. I don't travel very much. So I don't know, like, is Kenyan money more useful because it's a neighboring country or are they allowed to use U.S. currency there? Like, I don't actually know the answer to that. I mean, would you ever do you Canada, use Canadian? Canada. Right. We can use U.S. currency oh, here. Yeah, you can. But in the U.S., I can't go to my corner store mm -hmm. and I still have can't, like Canadian uh, money left over. Like, no. And when you enter in a contract yes, from my yes. lawyer here, OK, he said 100 Tanzanian, not whatever. And so mm -hmm. regardless, I can understand the frustration. My cuss out from Nikki comes from, and also here's another issue for me with Chippy, okay? Oh. Mind your business, Chip. No, disagree. <laughs> you better hope like, I never get no. Chip and Kim on this podcast. Well, first you of all, disagree. I love them. I Listen, I, first of all, I don't love everybody, but first of all, Chip and Kim, I'm rooting for them, but I with love, I'm saying, I'm calling them in, not out. Okay. Uh, mind your business. I'm saying mind your business in the sense, let these teams break down. Well, like, okay. let them, like, you know, as a, as a, uh, like, mechanism to be like, they're not communicating well. Let's just, I, my name is Kim, and I'm sitting here like, because that's what Kim was doing. But what I didn't like was, first of all, and I, this is why I'm saying mind your business, Chip, because I thought what he was doing, I thought how he was speaking was very loving, very educational, saying to her, like, listen, like, I know it's frustrating to you, but like, this could be life changing money for him in Tanzanian. And that's why he's requesting it. And so then when she kind of goes, Brandon. Brandon, you're 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 gonna let him say, and then Brandon's like, "Well, yeah, I agree with him." <laughs> you, you 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 agree with him? I I'm saying I understand what what you're going through. You 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 understand? Wait, I like I was like, 
Okay, sorry. All right, but listen. <laughs> I want to. I will say the one when Chip is talking to Brandon and Nikki, it, Nikki in um, the <laughs> airport. I will say when he said, "You know, you're looking at it wrong. Like everything, everything you give out is not something that's taken from you. What you give out will come back to you because what goes around comes, what around. Goes around, comes around." And I think she was just so stuck on they're trying to take from us. They're trying to take from us. We, they're, they're, you know. And that's not, you know, how you should be looking at it. Like you're setting these people up for a better life, potentially. And you can't look at everything you give has been stolen. You have to look yes. at it as you give and you will get. And it's a, it's a happier and healthier and better way to look at life. Like it's just, I, and I appreciated I that they showed that. I get what you're saying. I love that Kim is in the background being like, but seriously, stop tipping people yeah. money because we need <laughs> right. this money. Like. I get right. it. Say you're preacher preaching, but like stop with giving away the extra money. Mm -hmm. So I'm very yeah. much team Kim. The other all thing about that was like these people are like so entitled that their race is the center of their world and they're the important people. It's like, you know what? That cab driver is driving you two hours in the middle of the night. They don't give a shit if you end up in first place on the first charter flight for a right. million dollars. They probably care about making a life for themselves. So how about you take a second to like appreciate their life like it's not about you all the time and, right and i love i have never hated anything more than watching people on the race be like we're in it for a million dollars and i'm like that camp driver does not care like yes, we yes. i don't think we ever said i know we definitely said we're in a race but i don't think ever out of my mouth it was like it's for a million dollars like because whatever at the very last leg when we got our cab driver i was like I got his name and I was like, are you ready to do this? Like we're a team today. Like the three of us are a team. Let's do it. And he was into it and excited. And yeah, mm -hmm. we were, I knew we were going for a million dollars. Like that's my mindset, but like yeah. also make, make the people around you feel valued because they have, yeah. and they are your value right there. Yeah. Like you're not getting anywhere without that guy as evidenced mm -hmm. by Colin and Christy, uh, uh, <laughs> who, who I will give credit. Let me give one bit of credit where okay. credit is due. Because even though Colin said, did not say thank you and basically stole somebody else's spare tire, he did stop, he did stop yeah. for Linda and Karen. He stopped or the driver stopped. To, the driver stopped. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you know, if Colin and Christy weren't willing to stop, the Amazing Grace would have shown them in the back seat, being like, no, keep going. Like they would have That's shown true. that because that would have made for good TV. So they clearly were okay with the stopping or at least allowed it. They let them use the phone to call for another taxi. And he and was being thank about it. Like he's he was like, what? oh, he was being joked. That's what you get for being so fast. Like he was down to stop, but he still sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I, Fair enough. I agree. So, but I do appreciate that they stopped um, so that they can get another cab and then everybody gets to the airport. So Cammy and Carly pay their money without issue. Great. Good. No problems. They do what they're supposed to do. There are a lot of things, but they're not obnoxious about stuff like that. Um, Chip and Chip gives an extra $20, which Kim is not happy about. And I'm also not happy about <laughs> because I am someone who at one point we ran out of money as well. And on our season of the race, you also couldn't leave until a cab said you're okay yeah. to go. We were in Tanzania and we had, we had a market challenge where I had given another team some money and we were all working together and we got to the pit stop and we were $10 short. And the other team, thank God, was like right in front of us. And I was like, yo, I need that $10. And they're like, uh, okay. And they gave it to me because I'd given it to them in the market. But if they weren't uh, there, we wouldn't have been able to keep going unless the cab driver said, okay, no problem. Or another team showed up and we could have borrowed money. So, so money is still, cause I was going to say like when watching the show more recently, um, I will say I'm more casual now than I was, you know, even 10 seasons ago, but like, I don't see them talking about money that much. Do they get a limited amount now or? No, they don't get unlimited amount, but I think with COVID their cabs are not really a thing anymore. And so, there wasn't a lot of running out of money because there was much more self-drive and also they didn't really go anywhere or do anything. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. No, it's not easy. The amazing race is hard. Like, but after COVID started with the charter plane and you weren't booking your own flights and you weren't really taking cabs, I think money's become less of an issue. Um, a lot of it was with like haggling with cab drivers and, and stuff like that. So as those seasons got more new, it, but I, I will say like, not to I find some of, 
okay, there's some critiques about New Era Survivor as well, but you know, some some people are too much about it. It's like shut shut up. But then like there is a big difference between the old Amazing Race and the new Amazing Race because you know there's so much. I like that there, there's like oh let's see them eat, sleep, and mingle and like interact with teams because then it makes you care more about how they're that. doing later on. And then also like the airport situation. Like I get logistically sometimes people end up so far behind and now here they have to do 14 hours where they're not doing anything and that probably takes a lot of their production money but it was more interesting to have to like haggle your way into it made it a lot harder and i think that that is something that the show is missing now and it affects the product a lot more proportionally i would say i completely agree even though i've only really seen the newer era <laughs> but coming back and seeing this and seeing them have to just go from a clue stop to a clue stop and then a detour like for me it's like half the episode is them trying to just get a clue and i feel mm -hmm. like in the new era it's like okay detour then pit stop so like the journey right. on this season is mwah. Like, mm -hmm. And ooh, there's a lot I, more like shuffling because of that because they have right. and, and the challenges I think are more um, difficult sometimes because I think in New Era yeah. Amazing Race what happens is from the uh, and correct me if I'm wrong because I, I do sometimes only pay half attention because it's not capturing me as much but like the order from the start is like basically the order at the finish. There's no shuffling at the all. The last two seasons I've said to Bryce you can watch the first five minutes and then know how it's going to end for the most part, unless that's why 90 minutes really doesn't really help that product um, in the current state that it's in. I, I will say in the new season that's coming up with the amazing race, I think there are a lot of twists that they're bringing yeah. back, which I'm very excited about. And also regular airports again. So I think oh, it's excellent. going to be, it's not the charter flight anymore. Um, I don't know who wins. I don't know any of that information because I make it a point to not know. But what I do know is they're bringing back a lot of twists and turns from previous seasons. Uh, maybe some challenges from previous seasons, and also airport drama. I now, want them to haul that meat across oh the, yeah. the city. <laughs> that I was 50 pounds of meat. Yes. That's like two of those are a brook. You're just going to carry a brook across. This. That's crazy. Okay, so, okay, where are we? Okay, so at the airport. Everyone's at the airport. Chip and Kim and Brandon and Nicole are on Charter one, Cammy and Carly and Colin and Christy are on Charter two, and Linda and Karen by their lonesome are on Charter three. Although I think the order should have shifted because somebody was almost thrown in jail. Colin <laughs> and Christy get to the airport, and Colin goes, "Here's fifty bucks," and the driver goes, "No, no, a hundred dollars." And Colin says, "No, you drove on a spare tire. That's not safe. Take it or leave it," and then goes to walk away. And the driver says, "No, no," and goes to get the police. Now, I do think the fact that the police are not like uniformed police officers leads Colin to believe that they're not real police officers, which is absurd and obnoxious and we're right. And so one of the most uncomfortable moments in Amazing Race history ever, Colin says, this is my, this is my favorite moment of the episode. Colin is speaking to like the head police guy. They've already taken him to like the police station. He's Christy like, is you like, you wanna go to the police station? He's like, where, how far is it? Let's do this. And cause he thinks, I, I believe he thinks I'm not like they're not going to do anything to me. Like, uh, what are they going to do? Be, take your fifty dollars. Be happy. Be happy with what you get and don't get upset. And that's not okay. Mm -hmm. Christy starts being like, um, "Can we just go? Like, just pay the man his money and let's go." And then Colin starts getting down on Christy, which is even worse because like it, you could just the dynamic is not great there. But my favorite moment of this episode is Colin says to like the head police guy, "Do you speak English?" Yeah. And in perfect English, he says. Do you speak Swahili? Like, just uh, very... Get his ass. <laughs> very perfect. Like, yes, sir, I speak your language. Do you speak mine? Now, listen up, because you owe this man $100. Okay, so the driver decides he wants to open a criminal investigation against him. I love this. I'm screaming at the TV. This, I rem this is as great as I remember it. The cops tell Colin to go inside the police station because they want to arrest him. Colin is like... $50. Like it wasn't right. wasn't good. He didn't do it right. He didn't have a spare, blah, blah, blah. And the head cop is like, we're going inside. We're opening a case. I love when the cop says, hey, 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 li listen here. You, regular person, me, yeah. 
I'm a police officer. <laughs> yes. Do you understand what that means? Yes. And first of all, he's like the police chief. Sometimes the police chief don't necessarily like wear a cloak. Like I like I just love the way that like he's like, okay, I understand we might not look, we might not sound how you believe we should operate, but come on inside, buddy, and have a seat. Like you can't come just on go. inside. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like where you can't go. And then the best part. Because Christy was trying to stay out of it. She was like, uh-uh, you go. He said, baby girl, Get come in on here. in here too. Because you You're were part of charged. this criminal case. <laughs> I said, oh, and I love. And in that moment, the taxi driver was like. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It was perfection. Because I, I can picture a world where the taxi driver would have been intimidated and would have been just like, okay, meek and fine and go. Mm -mm, not here. This was so good where he was like <laughs> and you could tell he was so hurt the poor thing but he was held his ground and i think that's good for great. him good for he should have held his ground. officer was like what about his rights and it's like yeah what about yes. his rights what about he his said rights? show me the contract and colin's mm -hmm. like i just got in the what contract I just got in the cab he's like so, oh, so you can't show it to me right where are you well, yeah. not showing me anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is perfect. And where in the contract was it that's saying that he could uh, just take away the money if they didn't come in second place on the first charter flight? You could flight? see the moment in, you could see Colin's moment of, I'm not going to win this. Like you could just see it where, because you could tell he's used to just like getting his way. You could see it. And then he threw a hundred dollars and said, I'm out of here. And, and then he was out of there. Not the first like, time someone threw money at someone oh, already. Okay. Nick no, and not the second time. And <laughs> not Nick actually me. even the third time. So, <laughs> if that is your real name. Hmm. For me, it was the transition of they walk to the police station. It's pitch black, okay? The police are talking to them. The sun's coming up. Colin throws money at them. It's broad daylight. Um, but I, I, I really do have to, like, everything in my being has to say this piece, right? Um, if the roles were reversed and this were America, and mm -hmm. a black couple refuse to pay their taxi and they are in a sundown town or they are in an, a, a white community. How do we think the difference would have happened? Like we already know what have happened. And I also just bring mm -hmm. that point to say to the Tanzanian police department, the amount of grace, the amount of like pure level headed that they showed Colin mm -hmm. needs to be, excuse my language, but effing fucking commended because get your ass in the cell because I ain't even yeah. talking to you no more. Like the, the way that they could have exercised their right to police and they still showed them grace. Mm. Yeah, and then also, like, he throws money out and he feels like he can just, oh, now I've paid my debt, I can just walk right out of there without permission or, like, speaking or being respectful. Like, in what world would you be allowed to treat a police officer like that That's as a person of color, especially, and then walk out? Like, there's no way, but you think you're, you're, you have so much privilege that you can just do whatever you want, you know? Like, that's crazy. And then to blame it on her on christy for like oh she re like i had them it, it, you know retelling the story if you um are a fan of survivor heroes versus villains it reminded me a little bit about when um amanda and danielle wrestled over the clue and they didn't like and um, and amanda ended up handing over the clue to danielle and then when she's retelling the story i can't danielle's like i wrestled her to the ground and i ripped it out of her hand and then and here he's like I almost got away with it. And if it weren't for Christy, I would have. And That's my moment where he walks <laughs> yeah. back and Linda goes, did you get away with it? And <laughs> so smugly and, too. <laughs> and cause she knew like she, they're great. And Colin's like, I almost had it. Like I almost had it. I almost <laughs> had it world. is not an oh, but, the, but also like you almost had what? You almost yeah. what defeated the, you almost robbed a guy of $50. Congratulations. You almost right. had it. Like, mm, I really do appreciate that there was a, there's a solid 180. And Bryce, you'll, now that you know that they come back in the future, he's a very different, he's very portrayed different. very differently. Um, I do feel very badly for Christy because he's, even when I'm wrong, I want to be supported. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, I, <laughs> I don't This isn't a cult relationship. Her, her weird apology to him. Yeah, like, it, mm. that's it. But, 
that was weird. The mix, the the missed opportunity in this episode, in my opinion, when Colin and Christy walk their ass to the police station, if I'm Linda and Karen, I'm walking up <laughs> to, hey, can we go on standby? Uh, to the second charter. I oh, you like bet your ass. I would have crossed them out uh, and I would have moved myself. I've been like, well, honestly, or if I'm Linda and Karen, I'm walking to the police station and doing whatever I can to have Colin and Christy stuck there as long as possible mm -hmm. so that I can get on that second charter plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah Colin, like, fight it. Fight it. Yeah, fight you're gonna, it, Colin, you're gonna let him talk to you like that, Colin? Come on. <laughs> this is yeah, your privilege. But... Take that fifty. Shout out to that taxi driver though. Like yes. standing and the, on and the police yes. and the police and the police chief for standing on business. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all was doing that y'all had to open a police station up. Why wasn't it open? Not sure. <laughs> but, it's like the middle of the night. I don't know. It's, it, police is supposed to be 24 hours, but not sure. <laughs> Nevertheless, they still opened it up to file a, a complaint. Uh, against Colin and Christy, so. And I was so ready to like lay into them because I didn't remember exactly the situation with the charter flights, but I was so ready to come on here and lay into them and be like, you're worried about $50 when they're just going to be charter flights and you're going to end up all on the same flight anyways. And then I saw the bully moms <laughs> miss the flight. I was like, oh shit, I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> but then it didn't Well, matter. ish, right. Ish. Exactly. Well, right. Ish. Okay, so, so we have these charter flights. Um, Chip and Kim and Brandon and Nicole, that Cammy and Carly and Colin and Christy, and then Linda and Karen miss miss the flight. So they are they're gonna get on a flight six hours later. And I, I write down one out. What'd you say? I said not only miss it when they're like they literally are landing and can see. And mind you, clearly the three the three feet rule is in effect because I would if I'm Linda, I'll go inside. Karen, go get your behind on the plane. Right. <laughs> yes. And what was so funny was when they were like, "Can we make it on?" He's like, "It's nine minutes to departure. Absolutely not." And then he was like, um, "Yes." And then they were like, "Yes." We and then he's like, "No, no." no. <laughs> You know who would have made it on that plane? Charlotte oh, and Myrna. Okay. Because they would have had oh. them reopen the doors and turn stuff around. They would have had to go to a doctora, and then they would have made it on that plane. But Can I give Karen... you my hot take on them? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. oh, no. I don't know. I hate Myrna. <gasps> I think she's awful. What? She, yeah, she is just... I'm going to get so much hate for this. I Do care. you know her? No, I see her on the show. So I, okay, this is the context because you know she comes back, right, Bryce? I do know that they do come back. Okay, so she, it, you know, the first time I watched, I was like, Charlotte and Mirna, yes, like they're, get them. And they were also the antagonists to Colin and Christy. So I was like, they're the good guys. They're the good guys. And then I saw the next season that they were on and she is so rude. She is so, she treats people so poorly and and then I put into context, like, wait, everybody has a problem with Myrna, probably for a reason. And I went back and I rewatched this season and I was like, wait, her interactions, like she actually is quite rude to everybody. And 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 she can she can choose to be nice sometimes, which makes it worse when she chooses not to be nice. And so I find her to be awful. I think Sharla, you know, Boston Rob also interacted with them and he said Char I remember their exit interview he said Charlotte's a sweetheart and that's where he left it at and that's my take oh yeah okay well uh, fair we were only discussing this season because before we started I wasn't even telling Bryce who came back so that's a fair statement I um I do I will <laughs> say I will say I have not rewatched their other season in in quite some time. So when I do, I'm going to be excited to like sort of like do it with a like a different lens through a different yeah. lens. Um, oh, so this season, I very much all, enjoyed them. I very much enjoyed <laughs> them, but there are two moments that are sticking out to me. One at the bus station when Colin and Christy are talking to the guy, and Mirna just comes up and starts talking to the guy, and I'm like, well. I mean, that is kind of rude. And then <laughs> the other one, the backseat of the, the taxi. The taxi. The taxi. So it's like, yeah. But I mean. But also she throws around things like um, she'll just say, she's like, she's a Karen, not like the bowling mom. Not Karen, like, right, she'll yeah. be like, you see those people, they're violent, they're criminals. And like, 
And then it's like hard because some of the stuff backs up some of the things that she was saying, but she's just saying that to like get sympathy or attention. And she's using like very charged language to like get what she wants. And I think it's gross. Okay. Well, we, and what season? Well, we might have to add that. You to can our... tell. You can tell him what season. What, what uh, I don't even that? remember. It was it eleven? Okay. Is it is it Boston Rob? Well, it's not seven, so yeah, it should be eleven. Yeah. I'm guessing it's eleven. I think eleven okay. is correct. Um. Right. Come on. I, I mean, we'll I don't think Bryce that is shocked that Boston Rob is. You know. Uh, it, it, Boston Rob is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. If, if there's a, you're going to guess who's going to be on a show. It's probably going to be him. Okay. So anyway, Linda and Karen are pulling in as the other flight is pulling out and they get on a flight six hours later. And I say, maybe an hour's of operation will save them. Let's see what happens. And everyone gets to um, do the first four get to Dubai and you have, they have to go across the street from this hotel, right? And like everyone's passing the clue box. So I start writing down the order. I'm like, wait, that's not the order because three of the teams pass the clue box. So basically all right at the same time, you have Chip and Kim, Brandon and Nicole, Colin and Christy and Cammy and Carly. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Can I say mm -hmm. um, how mm -hmm. different Dubai looks now and from then? Like they talk about how like in the last 10 years, how it has developed so much. Um, and when they like to show the skyline of Dubai, you can clearly see it still looks made up. But like, my, 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 how different does it look from now? Oh, you're so cultured. I didn't even, I, I mean, I don't Bryce know what Dubai looks like now. <laughs> Yeah, but you can even even 20 years ago, you can still see it's on the rise and it still has like these beautiful towers and stuff. But I mean, now it looks like that, but on steroids, like mm. it's like even more. So I was just like, oh, wow, look at this. Um, another little aspect that I had to say, because I don't know why I'm so hard on Chip and Kim this episode, but I really feel like, well, I don't know. I, I think maybe because they are older. May I just look at them as so young, but I just feel like they, well, one, I want them to win. I don't know who wins, but like they give up the first place lead so easily to like mm. these people that like, I don't know what I want them to do. And obviously it's nothing because it's like, they have to run, they're older, but they're getting there. But it frustrates me watching them sometimes like be in the lead and then Cammy and Kim, like they just jump in a taxi and get there first. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I will say I have a little tidbit. So there was a roadblock this episode. It was just not aired. There was oh, yeah. so much other yeah. stuff that happened that there was a roadblock. My from my research, um, there was a roadblock where you had to go through um, like all of these stalls, like in this market, and purchase a particular kind of nut, and then deliver that nut to a boat, like a dow, which is where they ended up going for the captain guy uh, in the nearby harbor to get your next clue. All of the guys did it. So Brandon, Chip, Colin, then Linda and Carly did the task. So we had a task in our finale that wasn't aired. We were in Chicago. We had to deliver uh -huh. hot dogs to Wrigley Field. Um, Scott and I got to the hot dog making, but we subsequently went back there and went to Chicago and ate a Chicago dog because I never uh -huh. got to eat one the first time. Um, and we had to make the hot dogs. So we had a little assembly line. I don't think they aired it because we were the only team there at the time and it didn't mm -hmm. look particularly exciting because we weren't competing against anybody when we were there. Also, we got along really well doing it and did it very quickly. So they were probably like, ah, that doesn't fit their narrative. We're not going to air that. Um, so that was that story. So there was a roadblock because they didn't show one this episode. They only showed the detour. Yeah. Um, this Which is where. To how amazing what Omer you were saying earlier in that, that like how the, the newer seasons, like they didn't even have to show a roadblock. Yeah. To make the episode and one of the best I just of didn't all even time. realize, you know, I, I do remember reading that way back then. And I, and when I, but I was watching it, I was so captivated that I just forgot that they didn't do that. But also does Bryce know, or is he allowed to know like the significance of roadblocks in this season and its effect on the rest of Amazing Race history or no? You mean how one person can do all of them? Yeah. Yeah, so the rules that the rules changed after this because only the three of the women did only one roadblock for as long as they lasted on well, the entire race. Omer, I'm an astute watcher of The Amazing Race, and I picked up on that by episode four, and I had made Ooh. a comment, and Brooke, you know, let me know. But yeah, because I'm also like, huh? what, 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 <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, so let me say, this is the moment where Kim is all, I told you so, because Chip and Kim um, have their cab that's taking them to where they need to go. And the cab keeps ticking up and ticking up and ticking up. And they are $10 short. 
And Chip is going, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I, I just have to hope this guy is nice. And in karma and what goes around comes around, the driver mm. is willing to let them go $10 short. I tear up. No, I think it is. I mean, what else was he supposed to do? Tell him to stop driving. He didn't have enough money. He needed to get to where he needed to go. I, I'm just saying, I don't know if the taxi driver was in agreement. But this is where acting and positive energy comes in there because uh, I'm about to say Ch uh, Cliff Chip was definitely like, <laughs> oh, I love you, man. All right. Thank you, man. You the best. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Like <laughs> the guy was just confused. Like, you know, I really feel like he just was counting the money after they left because you see the scene of him counting the money. And I think that's what he figured out. But, he got short page portions. Right. He, the chip <laughs> did say, it's okay, we can go. You have to get the okay yeah, from the cab did. driver. The cab driver did say okay. They were very appreciative. Like, that was and, just, and it was it was nice that it happened for this team and not a team that was ugly about their money. And so yes. it was just a very what goes around comes around <laughs> moment, and I appreciate it. And it was yeah, Kim's I told you so moment. Right. Yeah. But could you imagine yeah, in the if future, chip were, like, <laughs> chip were like, here's $10. Take it or leave it. Yeah. No, that would never come out of their mouth. That would never come out of their mouth. But right. And so it's like, could you imagine if Colin, when they got to the airport, was just like, here's the $50. All right, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Like it could have been a different experience. But okay, sorry. I, I also don't think that would have ever happened. Okay. So now they have a detour. <laughs> it is off plane or off road. So off plane, which is awesome, is skydiving. You have to tandem skydive, but they, the planes only take one team and the next team can't go for 45 minutes. So if you're not team one, I don't know how you're waiting around and doing this, right? What? Oh, no, I'm just saying my inner Brooke in this episode was coming out because I was thinking to myself, if I'm Brooke and I read it's 45 minutes and I'm not the first <laughs> team, there's no way I'm yeah. doing like, that's what I like. So I called Brooke last night because I was hyped at this episode. Like I was like, standing up pacing around my room watching this and although i would want to do skydiving not 45 minutes and the thing is cammy and carly would have been there first because one of them saw the right entrance but the second you realize you're not there first i don't know why they would put on those jumpsuits turn around you're in second yeah. place go to the other thing I, the only thing I can think of is that they did not know how to drive a four by four and that they would have stalled mm -hmm. out immediately and would have needed to be towed every 10 seconds. Oh, but same. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you go on the amazing race and you don't know how to drive a stick shift. If you don't know how to swim, if there are things you don't know how to do, you shouldn't be going learn on the them. show, like learn them before you go. I have a driving school in New York city that myself and several people who have been on the amazing race have gone to, to learn to drive stick shifts. It's very funny. Cause when I went to do it, they're like, are you doing this for a TV show? Cause I'm like, we need to go on the FDR. I need to learn to stop. I need to learn to do it on a hill. I need to learn this. And they're like, what, why do you need to? I'm just like, this is what we need to learn. I'm like, I have a test. So the guy was like, I know what you're doing okay. anyway. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Um, and then in off-roading, you have to drive a marked 4x4 across the sand dunes, which actually looked like a lot of fun, um, to the skydive fun. site. Six miles, though. It's like a, it's a decent drive. You were bound to stall out or get stuck at least once. How many kilometers is that? No, uh, oh. It's probably like 10. <laughs> 10 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. 10 hmm. kilometers is six miles. Something like that, right? Because one, yeah. one kilometer 1. is 8. 6 miles. Or, yeah, 1.6. Um, we're anyway. mapping. We're doing math for nerds. How much nerds, is $100? Uh, how much does $100 Ken. in Tanzania uh, convert to US? <laughs> oh, that was also a point. In the recap of this episode, they'd be like, Phil was like, uh, previously on The Amazing Race, they flew to Africa. And it's like, what? 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 Can you Can be, you more, be specific? more specific? <laughs> you know it's a continent. <laughs> Maybe well, whatever. They want a trip to Latin America. Where, could you be more specific? Like, where are you going to the Caribbean? That's a, There's a lot of places there. Where are they? Mexico. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then anyway. also, poor, poor justice for Nikki. She <laughs> did, you know, Chip and Kim pay $9 for that taxi, and they gave a 20 Like, that's... You know, she had a... That was her moment, but that was that was her moment, and that was. But Kim's he's not moment, wrong. Like, like it, he's like, do you want to wait for change? Do you really want to wait for change right now? Like, let's go. Which right. I swear. I'm, and I guess I, they didn't run out of money. No, and if you know right. you're at the end, if you've done your roadblock, if you're at your detour, you're probably. It's you safe get to roll over gonna, your money though. 
you get to roll over your money. Um, yes, you do get to roll over your money. But my firm belief is they're never going to give you, they're never going to not give not you enough. enough at the beginning yeah. of one leg to get through that leg in case you previously, like they're not going to make it. So unless you've wasn't there all your money, they gave them $0 to yeah, start the leg. Given, yes, but then they won't, if they give you $0, they won't make you, you don't need you're it. You're going to okay. have to self-drive. You're going to have to do something. Wow. They're not going to not give you enough to make it through that leg. Gotcha. They gave Karen and Linda $0. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> right. But that was a penalty <laughs> for being last and what was Linda and Karen always have so many funny moments, but one thing about them that has always bothered me since 2004 or whatever this oh, aired yeah. was that Linda looks like Karen and Karen looks like a Linda. And it has always been extremely confusing for me. And, uh, but regardless, I Oh love my God. Now I see it. That's yes. really funny. I never, yes. Linda looks like a Karen. And I Karen looks like looks Linda. Like Linda. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you won't be able to unsee it. That's pretty funny. It's extremely confusing. But then they also have all these fun moments where they're in the car with the four by four. And then um, uh, Linda, or is it Ka Karen, is like, Linda's going to crash us. She's going to flip us over. And then she's just like, is, there, is this four wheel drive? You know, she's like getting really into it. <laughs> They're I would have so cussed funny. her out. Like, shut up. <laughs> like you, like you know, like words matter, and you're trying to. And but how funny was it? Like literally, ten seconds in, <laughs> it's like, well, and then the even funnier part was. Bitch, you're not even stuck. Like he was like, put it in reverse, and then they got out of it. I was like. Although I did start, I wrote them, they're stuck. And then I had to start a tally because they got stuck like four separate times. <laughs> but so you have, the, I think the only person who did it without issue was actually And that's Colin. the thing that pissed me off. I yeah. wanted him to get stuck so bad. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was all hype. Like he was like, yeah. Uh, we do off-roading. I do off-roading outside my, you know, I'm Why good at it. Why that my, in your room? <laughs> he's got props on props on <laughs> props. <laughs> But I it just doesn't like, matter. Now I need to know. I was the hoping that this was foreshadowing, mm. right? Like I was like, "Ooh, Colin won't get stuck." I was like, that, "Wait, that um, where we that where are we uh do that Dubai sand is going to get the Tanzania justice that we need?" And then I just hated the fact that Colin <laughs> was like, Fur! "Like Colin was killing it." I was like. Guys, That's so up I his promise alley, though. You, it was so annoying. I mean, white because it's never mind. I promise <laughs> you that he will he will get his. You just watch. Mm. You keep watching. There'll mm. be moments where you'll say justice for the Tanzanian cab driver. <laughs> mm. Promise. Okay. okay, so uh Brandon and Nicole go and they get it in second. Chip and Kim are almost out, and then they get lost and end up backtracking and then up, end up getting stuck. So they end up in third. Uh, Linda and Karen are in fourth. The editing here is amazing. And Cammy and Carly have to wait to skydive, which is why they are in last. Um, and it was so sad because at the time I was dev I remember I was rooting because they were so bad at everything. I was like, you, I just want you to like succeed a little bit. And I and then they missed the turn and I was like, crap. But it just shows you, it goes to show you that Cammy and Carly, God bless them, but they every single instinct they have is wrong. So they should actually just do the <laughs> just opposite of everything that they think. Right? And they probably would have ended up in first every single time. Uh, that is they true. may win. You don't know. You don't know. I mean, they could. <laughs> I, that's my theory because on the Amazon Prime season that I purchased, every episode, like every like episode, episode is the image of them. So, I, but which listen. one? Don't you know. don't. You don't. But also, Cammy looks like a Carly, and Carly wow. looks oh, like a Cammy. Like, oh my god. <laughs> That is true. I'm going to start messing up Linda and Karen. Okay, so anyway, you got to hop on a camel now, and you have to use a GPS thing to get yourself to this little oasis in the middle of the desert, which the only thing I'm thinking of is how when you're not skydiving, do you not see it and know where you're going to end up mm. going? But okay, whatever. Anyway. And then also, like, it, back then, GPS was, like, such a new thing. And then Colin's oh, so God. annoying. He's like, oh, I know how to use GPS. <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up. It, the arrow is literally pointing. You don't even have to do anything. <laughs> right. Uh what I didn't like was the animal run faster, cruelty. right? Well, oh. the run faster, the yeah. like having them like pull the camel. And like, I was just like, let them live. <laughs> you know, my feelings on the animal tasks. I feel like they're a little, when contestants have to deal with animals, they're a little too heavy handed. And I don't like that, mm, yeah. but also animals can tell when you're an animal person. So they are good to you when you're good to them. I mean, 
Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> yo, oh my god. Oh my god, Bryce. I can't wait for you to see the rest of the season. So um Colin and Christy come in first, although Brandon and Nicole's camel start and guides start jogging, and I was like, Oh, they're gonna overtake them. And this is the first time I'm like, Hey, Brandon and Nicole, like I want them to be first. They they're like flan to me. Like they're good, like nobody orders flan, but like you'll eat it if it's there. Like it's fine, it's cool, it's flan. Like, whatever okay. but like i so i was rooting for the flan because i was colin and christy had rubbed me so wrong this episode mm. that i was rooting for brandon and nicole but alas colin and christy went a trip to the caribbean who knows mm. where uh brandon and nicole come in second chip and cam are so happy and so grateful to be there and are just again they're just i don't look editing is a real thing behind the cameras they could have been totally obnoxious and hating everyone but i can't imagine that's possibly true because they seem like genuinely wonderful people and they're showing all of their positivity linda and karen also giggly and happy and loving everything and happy to not be in last place but cammy and carly come in last and we find out that this is number two of four which is a lot of non eliminated right. legs um they have to get rid of all of their money um but her aunt, Phil says, what are you going to do next time? How are you going to come back from this? We're resourceful, we're young, and we're cute. We'll make it work. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. And then and then she drops a line that's so crazy to me. She Well, first of all, also, the, there's a cute little falcon at the um, pit stop. So just a shout out. Shout but out also, falcon. then Carly, I think, or maybe it was Cam, I think it was Carly, is like, um, we're going to have to lie. That's the only way we're survived. I'm like, what are you talking about? Why do you have to lie? To, to survive this non-elimination right uh <laughs> yeah lying was... doesn't exactly seem like the thing you beg we have to beg, beg. that might yeah but also the hard part is they're starting the beginning of this leg in the middle of the desert it's not like when linda and karen had tourist bus coming and right, they could right. have asked people for money the, the amazing race is not making it easy on them for me well i was so surprised is that how was chip and kim because we saw him tip an extra twenty dollars they're out of money when Phil was like, turn over your money. It seemed like they had, like, he was taking a <laughs> lot of money. I'm like, where did this money come These girls from? are responsible with their money. That's probably why they didn't care about the $100. Probably hmm. so. Because I was just like, why do they have so much money? Like, but that is a lot. Like, weird. Okay, so my favorite um, non-elimination, like, I don't hate the non-eliminations, but my favorite, like, penalty was marked for elimination because I thought that that was a very balanced mechanism. So if, if you don't know what that is, do you know what that is, Bryce, or no? Mm -mm. Okay, so marked for elimination is like, if you come in last place, you have to come in first place on the next uh, leg or you get a 30 minute penalty. So it's, it's like- It's basically you got a 30 minute penalty because the likelihood of, I mean, it happened, it did happen. I don't remember yeah. with you. Someone will but fill back me then in. There were so many more equalizers too. So right. it was like, it was at least possible, but it made it so that there was some sort of like, at least suspense in every episode. Cause like, will the other teams come in before the 30 minute penalty or whatever it may be. But um, it, this one is like in kind of in poor taste. Cause like when you're in Egypt and everybody's like poor, I don't know if that's, you should be begging them for money, you know? No, and it's so a horrible taste. I'm glad that they kind of got rid of this. The only one that I would say that's worse than this is give us all your money and all of your belongings. So not only do you not have money, but you don't have clothes or a toothbrush right. or you keep your passport and the end, like that was it. <laughs> and so good luck to you. Um, but yeah, give us all your stuff or give us all your money. We're not great. The mark for elimination is good. And I think what they ended up doing in like when I was around speed the speed bumps yeah. are really good. So you have one little extra task, which if it's something you're good at and can do quickly, great. If it's something you're not good at, not so great. There was a time where the speed bump was do the other half of a detour, which ended up mm -hmm. screwing over a team because it was like a very long detour, but they've done some interesting things. I think they found a really good balance. And, and um, I think this episode is, is probably one of the best episodes of amazing race in yes. the history of the show so do you think that having no non-eliminations though now that they do that because they're a super sized cast do you think that takes a, a bit of the suspense away from the oh, end yeah. of the episode though oh, so yeah. i think that non-eliminations are not bad you just have to do something good with them yes right. i like non-eliminations yeah. i mean we had three mm -hmm. three um and one <laughs> i have to like do math oh that was a keep racing and that was a non-elimination. And that was a non-elimination. Let me know you want to 
<laughs> right. Let me know you want to. Uh, let me know you want Amazing Race without telling me you want Amazing Race. Okay. Uh, these are all just I have pictures of all my pit stops on the wall of my office. Oh, that's so fun. So they're all just framed. So I get to look up and I'm like, that's where we made a ladle. That's and but I found the actual pit oh, oh stops from each is. leg. The grass from when I got voted out at my first tribal council, uh, and I just <laughs> took it just, with me. Okay. What's on that out. grass? What's that beautiful butterfly that's on that grass? By the way, my good friend Nikki got me a <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, my. Good I don't know friend. if I should be more hurt that you like just compared me to Nikki, no, or you I just, just. I just. Wanted to do the quotations. This My was also friend. the air they kept casting these like young, um, like fit couples, like in droves, like five or six of them per season. And they're chaotic. Like, see, Bryce, you should watch season six because those young couples are insane. I've told in Bryce to skip season six because no. of just the sheer violence. Do and not skip it. It's oh, crazy. Okay. It's crazy. Maybe we do I seven before six because seven yeah. is so good. Seven is okay. so good, but six is like a diamond. It's like a bone. That, Omer, don't, now you uh, that, don't stop trying to play with my emotions, Omer. So, Brooke, that's my Gabon is my favorite Survivor season. Period. Uh, I don't is care. That what one, is, wait, that's is that the Bob correct? one? No, yeah. that's not. That's what, correct. That's is correct. That no, this. Yeah, yeah what, she was on I, that. But Corinne played Marcus twice. Marcus and I'm, Corinne been, and. Yeah, Crystal, yeah, that's a good season. Candy. Oh. Sugar, sugar. But then also, like the thing is, at the time, everybody hated Gabon, and I never did. I, like I loved it, season. but like it came back, like like people now love it because it was so chaotic. And season six is chaotic from start to finish, and one of the most iconic roadblocks of all time. Okay. Well, I, I'm excited uh, because again, watch season five. Oh, oh, is that Lena and Christy in yes. season six? The hay. Yeah. Oh, there's a full elimination. <laughs> is, it a, is it an actual one though? You'll agree yes, it's an actual yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll all agree. That's a three out of three right there. That's that is a that's that's about as eliminating as you can get. Yeah, though there's no question. But there is also some violence and and one couple that is uh, well two is Freddie and Kendra on that season? Is that yes. Freddie and Kendra season? Yeah, yes. they're horrible. Um, there are a couple teams that you'll you hate. You thought Nikki was bad? Wait till you yeah. see Kendra. Yeah, you'll meet Kendra. I don't mind Nikki, com especially compared to Kendra. Ugh. And Jonathan Victoria, are they season six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're going to yeah. hate them too. Yeah, we'll talk about it. I, I don't know how we got here, but what I will say is we will – you'll. Bryce is going to watch them all now, though. You I travel mean, I, so I, much I really and you're do. on airplanes, and you, you'll get into it. Even if we don't do rewatches of them, I think we'll do yeah, them. I definitely am going to download episode six now that you said Gabon, just because I really enjoy just watching, like, season five. Like, I just am um, watching it sometimes, and I'm just like, uh, I'm forgetting that I'm having to do a rewatch. I'm just like, oh, I know you lying. It's so good. And rest in but, peace to our old couple of this season, Bob and Joyce, because they were great. But the old couple in season six, one of my favorite, and season seven, two of my favorite old couples of all time. All time. Gretchen and Meredith and Don and Mary Jean. Mary Jean oh. is a firecracker. Don and Mary Jean. That I is like, tell I like Mary Gretchen Jean, and Meredith. Man, Gretchen and Meredith are legitimate. They're, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, I just I'm think gonna he's gonna hate season six. Gretchen. I think he's gonna hate season six. Is the no, problem. he'll love it. He, I, I bet you. Okay, let's have it. Let's take the bet right now. The I bet is he's it. going to so despise some of these teams and who I know the winner is that he's not gonna want to watch the season. Okay, but. I think he'll love the season. I don't disagree. He'll hate some people, but how about this? He watches it. He tells us which one of us is right, and then the next time I'm in New York, we owe the other one a coffee or something. What, what, what do I get out of it? The joy the of watching prestige. the season. Yes. I, I want a hundred. I do think he's gonna dollars. love it because here's the but here's the thing. He might love it because he loves the amazing race, but he has to love it more than something else. Like, is it Gabon level good? Like okay. well, I can I can no let's let's make a threshold. Like, okay, the, the threshold is well, no, just you 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 vibe out and say who who do you think is right? Like, I think you'll love it. She thinks you'll hate it. So which one? No, 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 no. I think you'll like it because you like the Amazing Race. I think you'll hate some of the teams. I think you will think it pales in comparison to the season we're watching right now. But and I disagree. think this is the best season of all time. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you're gonna say I love it. I think you'll say okay, okay, okay. I, I think, think you'll love it. I think yeah, you'll love okay. it. 
Okay. okay. Well, listen. And I do I, think uh, you will despise a couple of the teams. Well, I mean, that makes me want to watch it more. I, I enjoy when I despise the couples. That's like oh, well, then, part okay. of the fun. Uh, and there is no doubt in uh, our pit stop covers that I despise Colin and Christy this episode. Uh, so it's Keep crazy. Watching. But Omer, we can't thank you enough for coming Yay, on, on this yes. iconic season i feel I like an amazing, amazing race. race yes, yes. season 37 comes back around you will have to come on it and cover it with yeah. us yes and i need to know i need to know now all your thoughts which i can listen to the pod to find them out but i especially so there's something like this episode was crazy and you would think unreplicatable in some ways but next episode I want to know uh, your thoughts. Oh, Omer, <laughs> I will add you to my list of people that I call when I watch Amazing Race. And don't worry if you don't pick up. I will leave you a voice memo note. So you don't worry. Okay. Sounds good. Thank I, you I, so yeah. much. This was Thank fun. Thank you. This was yeah. really, Even really though fun. I was outnumbered, but I'm okay but with it. It's okay. But Omer, in just true fashion, if you don't know what a Phil elimination is like, uh, so yeah, <laughs> Brooke, thank you. We'll be back next week. Cover episode nine. Bye.